If you attend the Sealands Grove Market Street Festival Saturday, you may get a sense of a true downtown feel and also notice some fairly new businesses around. Kelsey Clark will celebrate the one-year anniversary of her business, Pink Pinup Resale Boutique. What we do is we sell women's and juniors clothing and we take all different sizes. We also take jewelry, accessories, scarves, hats, um, all, all sorts of things. And you bring it in to us and then we go through the items and whatever we can use, we offer you cash or we do 30% more store credit. I think it's kind of neat when you come down to a different location because it's one of a kind. Like there is no other pink pinup in this, in, you know, ever in the world. Veteran business owner Dwayne DeWire has been cutting hair in Sealands Grove for 32 years, but within the past year and a half opened the barber shop First Class Mail. The way kids grow up today versus the way I grew up, people don't use the phrase downtown. They go to the mall, they go to the Walmart, they go to, they just go to, they don't go downtown. And I think that's where a lot of people are missing out on, a, on an experience. Mary Bannon is the Sealands Grove Main Street manager and says the town boasts walkability and also a variety of eclectic stores. It's something actually that in large cities, they're trying to build now. They're actually planners who try to build this kind of a town that Sealands Grove already is. It's never lost that um, charming feel. It's just definitely like the charm of hometown America for sure. Carl Conrad of Sealands Grove Projects Incorporated says it's no surprise the town has few empty storefronts. I just think uh, it's the personality of the town. I, I think uh, it's a well diverse town in that we've got a lot to offer. We've got a lot of different businesses um, and we constantly look to grow our businesses and, and try to bring people into the area. And Bannon says keep an eye out for some new businesses in Sealands Grove, including coffee shops, an antique shop, and a place to get frozen yogurt. You can learn more about what's going on in Sealands Grove online at sealandsgrove.net. Sarah Bartlett, WKOK.com.